and fighting our battles and every knee will bow before him and our God is the lamb and the lamb that was slain for the sins of the
down this stream of Jesus, Jesus, your silence feel in Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence every fear. said about us we are the habitation of God and we are his resting place and I want to give him full power in my being this morning don't you don't you want to be everything that he created us to be heaven came to earth so that we could live in victory and I want to model that this morning whatever it looks like I don't want just half of what I'm called to be although I think half would be awesome I don't want three quarters I want it all I want to see heaven invade Birmingham, Alabama through me. I want to see it if nobody else, if nobody else will believe. I want to believe it. I want to be found faithful with the revelation that God is on the move, that now is the time. It's not just a song that we're singing. Heaven is shaking every power and principality, and he wants to do it through you this morning. You're not a weak vessel. You're not broken. You're not broken. You're all powerful because of him living inside of you you've got the seed of heaven living on the inside could somebody just shout with excitement this morning hey say your name your name is a light that the shadows can't deny hey your name cannot be overcome 
mighty is his name. Oh, powerful is his name. Hey, He's coming to shake everything that can be shaken. No stone is going to be left unturned. Because I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe. Oh, somebody prophesy it. Say, I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. 
He's alive. 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 He's alive.
rushing around us Draws up springs in the desert Song run glory Your voice is over the waters They spare the forest before us You speak, life comes forth This morning, sing the train of your rope. The train of your rope. our King who is so worthy. We lift up praise to you this morning, our King that is worthy of majesty, that is worthy of acclaim this morning. We lift it up, Jesus, worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Give a shout to Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. 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 I 
just want to say this morning, we had planned on not doing that song because of time this morning, but I feel like there's such a revelation within that. As his train fills the temple, you are the temple. And the train represents the victory of God. Every time that king would win a battle, they would, they would attach to his robe that tapestry of the previous kingdom that had been overcome. And I'm telling you, our king's victory is so great, is so vast, that there's no earthly containment that could ever be. But God said, I want to put my victory within my bride. I want to put my victory song within my bride. And I believe, beloved, that this is our time to sing to the world. We're not some humdrum believers. We're not sad. God's not mad at anybody. We're not defeated in any realm. We walk and live, breathe and move according to his spirit within us. And I declare that for you this morning. You have the victory. Your family has the victory. Your home has the victory. There's victory on your job this morning. There's victory when you go downtown this morning. There's victory. There's favor in everything that you do. Hallelujah. Suzanne had a dream. She, she talked about it a little bit, but she had a dream that the strong man had been brought down that he'd been defeated and it wasn't an easy battle. There was a, a couple of knockups and some bruises, but man, in the end, he got his tail kicked. And I feel like she saw right out of that, the enemy, that strong man being bound up, she saw this time of favor, blessing, provision coming. This, this were people that didn't even care what was going on within the confines of the church. They begin to see something that they desired so greatly. And I just feel like right now, body, step into that king's way. That's who you're called to be. They're going to be people provoked to hunger because of what they see coming out of you. They're going to begin to thirst. How many know this? I can go to the movie theater and I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna diet, I'm not gonna have a Coke and some popcorn, but what do they do before the movie? They play the most beautiful, this ice hits in the glass and then a Coke pours over and it's so fizzy and cold looking. And before you know it, I've, I've, gotta, have, I've gotta have that. And I feel like that we've shown the world everything but the goodness and the power of God. We've shown them, this is what you can't do, and you better not do that, and this is, God is mad, he's upset about this, and there's judgment coming here, and all this stuff. Listen, phooey, I'm telling you, it's the goodness of God that's gonna bring this world into a place of repentance. And so just get excited with me this morning. I believe revival is coming to Birmingham, Alabama, and revival has become an ugly word. We've gotten tired of saying it, but I declare a decree right now, radical conversions to Jesus Christ in the streets of our city. I declare that every college campus within this city will come to know God and radical expressions of his kingdom. I believe there's gonna be a realm of signs, wonders, miracles happening in every school campus. We take back Iondale Middle School. We take back Shades Valley High School. We take back these campuses that the enemy has come in because we've tried to legislate the Holy Spirit out. But I'm telling you, you guys are on a divine assignment to take in his glory wherever you go. And I'm telling you, there is no power or principality. There's no, no policy that can hold back what God wants to release from his beautiful bride. Could somebody give a shout to the Lord this morning? Hallelujah! name somebody say amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah oh. amen amen just to confirm that this morning as i woke up there was such a dense fog on the ridge that we live on and you just couldn't see anything and but as the sun rose the fog disappeared and there was perfect clarity and then i walked into our to the bathroom and, and I looked over and the window was, I said, oh no, the fog's back. But no, there was perfect clarity. It was just the steam, you know, I was moving. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> the fog didn't come back. So you have all access to the fullness of who he is. And there may be time your perspective has something over it, but just wipe that off and see, no, there is clarity. There is authority that you have. I also saw like this body at a ledge, kind of like Raiders of the Last Ark, and you didn't know what to do because there was like, there's nowhere to step if I jump off. But I felt the Lord saying to me, even this morning when I woke up, 
There's no giant that's too big. There's no devil in hell. There's no raging sea. There's no mountain too tall. If you cultivate intimacy with me, that anything will steal your peace or that authority or that confidence to walk in what he's calling you to do. So step out today. No matter what it looks like, though you may not see where it is, just step out in faith. Knowing that if he has to, he'll carry you. But he's going to get you to where he's called you. Oh, come on, Lord. So we just honor you today. That you are enthroned on our praises blows my mind, but we thank you that we get to partner with you, God. So be enthroned today in our lives and in our praise. And we say yes to the word that was released from Pastor Jeff. And we walk in the fullness, God. And we change our perspective when there's something in the way. Come on. Hila Romose. Give us eyes to see God clearly and the courage to step out and obey. We will not fear what passed. We will not fear what happened yesterday. It's a brand new day. We trust you. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Come on, look over and love on somebody. Just speak the word of the Lord to them. If you see someone you don't know, just greet them. Hey guys, I wanted to personally just take a moment and thank you so much for taking time to join us in worship here at Kingsway. We are so honored that you've chosen to be a part of our worship family. And I want to invite you, if you've been blessed by the service today, come and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're updated when we post new videos. Also, you can look us up on iTunes podcast under Kingsway Worship. And we're going to begin to post all of our worship moments on that podcast that you can get free of charge. Make sure to share our videos with your friends, family, so that they know what God is releasing, the sound that he's releasing in Kingsway Church. We want everyone who wants to to be a part. Thanks so much.